For decades, the Walt Disney Resort in Florida has been the largest entertainment destination on Earth. However, a project called Dubai Land was set to take that title away. This $65 billion project, which was halted in 2008 thanks to the financial crisis, is now looking to make a strong comeback. What is Dubai Land? Over the years, Dubai has grown to be one of the most visited cities in the world thanks to its amazing real estate, technological advancements, and of course, its tourist attractions. Speaking of tourism, Dubai took a bold step forward with the launch of Dubai Land, which was tagged as one of the world's most ambitious architectural projects. It first launched in 2003, and according to the original plan, it was set to be the largest entertainment center in the world, not just by name or hype, but by actual size and variety of side attractions. To put things in perspective, Dubai Land was planned to cover a staggering 278 square kilometers, about 107 square miles. For more clarity, this area is about two times bigger than Walt Disney's Resort in Florida that covers 101 kilometers. But of course, a piece of land with that much space could do more than just having a single theme park, which is why Dubai Land was planned to feature a multi-purpose leisure center that would include a blend of entertainment and retail attractions. To add to that, the influx of people expected to troop into the city once the project was finished also meant that visitors would need adequate accommodation. To that effect, Dubai Land was also planned to include several residential communities where visitors and fun seekers could reside during their visits. The Vision of the Project Considering the size of Dubai Land, it was only right to split it into different zones. A total number of six zones were created, with each offering a different attraction from the other five. The first zone, of course, is the theme park zone. This was built to be a world-class center that would feature smaller high-profile parks, such as the Universal Studios Park, the DreamWorks Studio Park, and an amusement park. But this wasn't planned to be an ordinary amusement park, as it had a special theme called the Restless Planet, which is a dinosaur-themed getaway. As for the second zone, known as the Sports and Outdoor World, it was designed to feature the very best of facilities for those who enjoy the thrill of sporting activities. This zone will feature a standard cricket stadium, the Dubai Sports City, a space for motor racers, and even a special Tiger Woods-designed golf course. The third zone, which is called the Ecotourism World, is dedicated to nature. For those who visit Dubai Land for the sake of the city's natural beauty and wildlife and protected area, this is certainly the go-to area. As for the fourth zone, it's called the Leisure and Vacation World. Now, this particular zone is quite different from the rest. Not in terms of beauty and attractions, but in terms of cost. It was designed with high net worth tourists in mind, as it was planned to feature exclusive resorts in the most luxurious hotels in the world. There's also the fifth zone called the Retail and Entertainment World. As we all know, the city of Dubai is already a popular spot for shopping, and Dubai Land was built to take that reputation to greater heights. This particular zone was intended to feature world-class shopping malls that would sell everything from the best designer bags, shoes, jewelry, perfumes, and other luxury accessories. The sixth and final zone is called Downtown Dubai Land, and it was intended to be the central point of the entire project. This area was designed to resemble Las Vegas in terms of setting and entertainment options like theaters, live shows, and casinos. Dimensions and Coverage The $65 billion dedicated to the Dubai Land project was meant to cover all construction expenses across its six zones. But besides the entertainment centers, a large portion of the funds was also dedicated to building housing areas that could accommodate as many as 40,000 people. These houses were to be built inside gated, lush green communities such as the Arabian Ranches, the City of Arabia, and the Falcon City of Wonders. As for the dimensions, I've already mentioned that the entire Dubai Land was meant to cover around 278 kilometers. This isn't just two times the size of the Disney Resort in Florida. It's also 17 times bigger than the French city of Monaco and almost three times larger than Manhattan. The vision of this project was extraordinary to say the least, as it planned to attract more than 15 million tourists annually by 2015. But even with all the prospects, the goal of Dubai Land was never achieved. The question is, why? So, why did Dubai Land fail? Dubai Land was born out of a grand vision to transform Dubai into the most visited tourist center in the world. The plan was mind-blowing and all seemed set to turn this dream into reality. However, as with any mega project, this too was halted by challenges and concerns that would later lead to an indefinite postponement. One of the major reasons for the failure of Dubai Land was its massive scope. The project just seemed too overambitious to be achieved, not just within a short period of time, but to be achieved at all. The sheer scale of Dubai Land was overwhelming as it was planned to feature six zones with world-class tourist attractions. 
This, of course, required a huge budget and commitment from both the government and private investors that shared the vision. Unfortunately, managing the project became more complex than expected, and meeting up with development deadlines across such a vast area of land became daunting. Another reason for Dubai Land's failure was the amount of money needed to make the project a reality. $65 billion is such a huge amount of money that it couldn't come out of a single person's pocket. To that effect, the project required a constant inflow of money from different investors. Unfortunately, as the scale of the project increased, so did the amount of money needed to complete it. The global financial crisis of 2008 didn't help matters either. In fact, it was one of the biggest reasons why the project was halted. For those who didn't know, the city of Dubai is heavily dependent on real estate, and 2008's global financial crisis led to a major crash in property prices. Specifically, the prices of property in the city fell by almost half, which caused many projects to be postponed or completely canceled. Dubai Land's project got hit hard by this crash, and many investors opted out of fear over losing money in a dwindling real estate market. And because of this, practically all construction work got stopped, as there were no more funds to continue the project. Sadly, the lands allocated for several projects within Dubai Land, including the Universal Studios and DreamWorks Park, were left barren. In fact, the lands were so empty that many people began calling them ghost towns. Now, abandoning a project, that's one thing, but abandoning a project that's already consumed millions of dollars is a whole other. Such can be said of Dubai Land's Restless Planet Dinosaur Theme Center. Millions had already been spent on it before it was abandoned due to the global financial crisis, and as the project was suspended for long periods, enthusiasm to complete it became even lower. However, all that would change as the crisis began to ease off. The Comeback – Dubai Land's New Life Despite rocky beginnings, there's new hope for Dubai Land to become a reality. Those who look forward to it with such enthusiasm still have something to look forward to, as work on the project has continued, with some even being completed. Although it's worth mentioning that even though the Dubai Land project's back on track, it's not as big as originally planned. Nevertheless, it's made great strides forward with the opening of some entertainment centers. The first that comes to mind is the IMG Worlds of Adventure, which happens to be one of the biggest success stories in the Dubai Land revival. This is the world's largest indoor theme park, as it covers a jaw-dropping 140,000 square meters. IMG opened in 2016 and has been a major attraction for locals and foreigners. The park is built with different zones that are dedicated to popular franchises like Cartoon Network and Marvel, that gives visitors a feel of some of the favorite characters these networks have to offer. But that's not all, as it also features many breathtaking themed rides and other side attractions. But it isn't just fun and games, as the new Dubai Land also stuck to its original plan on providing adequate accommodation for its visitors. One of the accommodation options include the Arabian Ranches, which was in Dubai's original plan. This high-end residential area isn't just a beautiful element of Dubai Land, it's also become one of the most sought-after suburban developments in the city. But what would a high-end residential area be without a mall? To this end, Dubai Land now features the Dubai Outlet Mall, which serves as part of the city's retail zone. To its credit, it's attracted millions of visitors since its opening and has continued to do so till this very day. It doesn't stop there, though, as the new Dubai Land also keeps to the old promise of having an area dedicated to sports lovers. Simply put, Dubai Land's taken sports tourism to heights that have never been reached before. Called the Dubai Sports City, visitors will find an array of training academies and standard stadiums. But just to tell you how prolific the Dubai Sports City's become, it now hosts international sporting events, which in turn has attracted more visitors to the city. So, while the new Dubai Land isn't on the scale as it was formerly planned to be, its revival is a step in the right direction. Centers are now being open, and some are already up and running. The good news is the entire project hasn't even been completed yet, and it's already showing great promise of what it could be for the city and the people of Dubai. Controversies of Dubai Land While the revival of the Dubai Land project comes as good news to some, there are others who aren't happy with the way things have gone, and this has led to many controversial moments so far. One of the major talking points has been the discontent among the project's original investors. Billions had been spent on Dubai Land before the project got stopped as a result of the financial crisis, and unfortunately, the project's not being built at the original scale. It's now a bit smaller than originally proposed, and with the real estate price crash of 2008, this means many investors might not get what they originally bargained for. Some major projects within Dubai Land, such as the proposed Universal Studios, were either abandoned or scaled down. This automatically meant that early investors were already running at a loss. To add to that, Dubai Land shifted away from mainly being an entertainment center destination, to tilting a bit more towards the residential side. And while having residences was always part of the original plan, it wasn't on the scale it is today. 
This has left a sour taste in the mouths of investors who pump money into the project with the hopes of it becoming an internationally recognized entertainment hub. Money aside, there have also been several environmental controversies surrounding the project. The large-scale developments in Dubai land have caused worries over their environmental impact. Dubai's desert climate means that projects of this size require large amounts of water and energy to maintain. Critics argue that Dubai land's revival could place unsustainable strain on the region's natural resources, particularly the water supply, which already relies heavily on desalination. Now, there still remains the issue of too many unfinished projects inside Dubai land. This has led critics to question whether the project will ever live up to its original vision. Restless Planet, which is the dinosaur theme park in Dubai land, remains one of the most prominent examples of a project that never got finished, despite years of development. It remains barren to this day, and the longer it remains this way, the more questions are going to get asked by those who've invested in it. So what's the future of Dubai land? While Dubai land is not the international entertainment powerhouse initially it planned to be, it's slowly evolving into a bigger part of Dubai's urban landscape. The focus has shifted to residential, retail, and sporting developments, which are helping transform Dubai land into a new kind of destination, one that balances entertainment with practical living spaces. Several upcoming projects, including new theme parks, residential zones, and retail centers, are expected to contribute to the area's ongoing growth. The continued development of Dubai Sports City and other sports-related venues also signal that Dubai land is going to be playing a major role in the city's future. But as it is with any project still facing some form of uncertainty, only time will tell what Dubai land will eventually become in the future. All the same, Dubai land's journey from being an ambitious dream to a stalled project and its gradual revival is a story of vision, unforeseen circumstances, and hope. While it may never fully realize its original vision as a global entertainment destination, the idea of becoming the largest in the world is simply mind-blowing. Hit the comments and tell us what you think of Dubai land. We're committed to releasing two videos for you every week. Be sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more visionary builds.